Hi there, kiddos. It's your friend Patch, the storytelling narrator. I'm here to whisk you away on an exciting adventure filled with laughter and valuable life lessons. But before we begin, let's make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our fun stories. And remember, stick around till the end because that's where the best part is. Now, are you ready? Let's dive into our wonderful tale. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a quirky little creature named Fuzzy. Fuzzy had the silliest voice you could ever imagine. He spoke with a high-pitched squeak that made everyone giggle. Fuzzy loved making people laugh, and he had a special talent for telling jokes. With his funny one-liners and contagious laughter, he could brighten up even the gloomiest of days. One sunny morning, Fuzzy decided to visit the nearby village to spread some joy. As he hopped along, he encountered a grumpy old bear named Grumble. Grumble had a permanent frown on his face and never seemed to enjoy anything. Fuzzy, being the cheerful creature he was, couldn't resist making Grumble smile. He approached the bear and said, Hey there, Mr. Grumble! Why don't bears wear shoes? Grumble grumbled in response. I don't know, why? Fuzzy chuckled and replied, Because they'd rather go barefoot. Grumble couldn't help but chuckle at Fuzzy's joke. From that day on, Fuzzy and Grumble became the best of friends. Fuzzy taught Grumble the value of laughter, and Grumble taught Fuzzy the importance of finding joy in the simplest things. Together, they brought happiness to the entire village. One joke at a time. And so, my dear friends, the moral of this silly tale is to always embrace humour and spread joy wherever you go. Laughter has the power to connect us and make the world a brighter place. So remember to smile, giggle and share a good joke with someone today. I hope you enjoyed our adventure with Fuzzy and Grumble. Join me next time for another exciting story. Until then, keep laughing and have a wonderful sleep. Good night, my little storytellers. (laughs) 